Okay, I guess this is um, video number two. Um, I said the word of God. Number one, thou shall have no other gods. Now I'm going to catch a lot of shit for this. Look at me. The words, ye shall have no other gods before me. People that have religions, I'm grabbing my, people that have religion that says, pray to Jesus, pray to Mother Mary, pray to her angels. It's not correct. I've been there. I've been on the other side. The words of God. Ten Commandments. Number one. Thou shalt have no other God before me. That means you do not pray to anyone but God. You don't pray to Jesus. You don't pray to Mother Mary. You don't pray to the disciples. You don't pray to the bird flying out your freaking window because you're that way, which is cool. Animals are awesome. Pray to God. We'll simplify it. Ask Jesus questions. Ask your angels questions. Ask them for guidance. Ask Mother Mary for guidance. But do not pray to anyone but God. If you're wondering why I've been praying for 20 years and everything still sucks, look at the only true words of God that the Bible or anywhere states. Number one, you shall not have another God before me. That means only pray to me, the God. Not me, Ronnie. I'm an idiot. But I've been there. I've touched his hand. No bullshit. Ask your angels for guidance. Ask Jesus for guidance. Ask Mother Mary for guidance. But only pray to God. Okay? Very simple. And now this is going to be <laughs> in a world of hurt probably too. Because there are some religions and I had a question. And they said I could answer it public or private. I'm going to answer this one public. I've touched the hand of God. He let me come back. He's let me go up to within this far. Touch his hand again. Taking my family there and getting them there. And, oh yeah, that, that's, that's a hour upon hours upon days trip. I said, I was there like that. And I had to figure out what's going on. I said, let me come back. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you that. I said, let me come back. And God asked me after I touched in, why? I don't know why I'm there. I'm not finished. I want to know why I was put there. It's too easy here now. And I said, what? I said, yeah, I want to know why I was there. Because I was a problem the whole time until I was 16. I was a mistake and loved but not wanted. Okay? You know, plain and simple. And uh, just a problem. And I said, why in the hell? I want to know the answer why I was there. And you made me. God, you made me. You are the one that made me be there. Let me know why. I'm still looking why, but he let me come back. But yeah, after that, just, wow, there's a trip. But here's the second thing. Main thing. Jesus did his job. Someone asked me about rapture. I don't even know what rapture was. I had to look it up. I'm not going to lie. Because I never thought about it. Because I already, I already touched the hand of God once, and I've been so close, and I actually want to just go there and stay, but I couldn't. I'm not done with what I was supposed to do. Rapture states that Jesus is coming back, and it's going to be a secret or something, and then he, Jesus is not coming back. Okay, not in our lifetime, not on this planet. Not in this solar system. If anyone believes that God only rules this solar system and us humans, 
They're highly mistaken. Just look at the universe and how many galaxies. God controls all of it. Remember? Words in the Bible. God said, let there be light. God made everything. We're not the only fucking morons here, okay? Think about it. We're one little tiny solar system, even in our galaxy. If anyone doesn't believe there's any other kind of life, intelligent, that can communicate with God, except our little solar system, you're a bunch of idiots, because uh, he showed me a little different. All right? Okay. But, in our lifetime, I was told I was going to live to be 125. My dad's 98. I was told I was going to live to be 125 if I wanted to. Uh, unless I goof up, they can take me out tomorrow. <laughs> if I really screw up, I'm done. I've been living on borrowed time since I was 16 years old. And people like get in an accident or get sick or something. Oh, I could have died. I was dead. They can take me tomorrow. God can take me tomorrow. I don't think he wants me. He wants me to hang and just learn and learn and learn and try to help. But the rapture, as far as I know, is Jesus is coming back. No, Jesus is not in our lifetime. My lifetime. Maybe later. I don't know. That Those words were written in the Bible by humans. Not by God. Look at the Ten Commandments. There's nothing in the Ten Commandments written by God that state Jesus is coming back. Jesus did his job. He came to take everybody's sins and stuff away and eat it and die and hurt and then prove you can live again. And he is sitting right beside his father and that's basically where he's going to stay. Okay? Well, as far as I know, which just my ideas of what I've been showed by God and the angels is when God decides shit's going to happen, it's going to happen. But they tell me a lot of stuff in my books. I don't have to pull tarot cards. In my lifetime and in the lady's lifetime that asked me, sis, Jesus is not coming back. I don't know if that's your religion and says he's not. He did what he's supposed to do. He's finished. He's sitting beside God now. Mother Mary is sitting on the other side of God, Jesus' mother. There's no father because God is Jesus' father. Think about it. Virgin Mary. Mother Mary. God let her have a child when she was a virgin, and her child is Jesus. And Jesus did what he was supposed to do. Now they're back together. Now we all got to figure out what we're supposed to do ourselves. But, yeah, I, sis, I hope you see it. The rapture is not going to happen in, in our lifetime, as far as I know. And... Basically, what I know, the rapture is not going to happen on earth ever. You can take it or leave it. I don't know what your religion is. Because the words of God, Ten Commandments. Five, five. Number one, thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's number one right there. Don't pray to Jesus. Don't pray to Mother Mary. Don't pray to anybody else. Talk to him. Ask him for guidance. Pray to God. God made his son Jesus through Mary a virgin that never ever had sex with anyone. But she had Jesus. And Jesus did his job. Mother Mary did what she was supposed to do. Now they were right beside God. Okay? Simple. Don't hate me. But now nah, I... Uh, rapture is not going to happen. Jesus is not coming back. Mother Mary is not coming back. The only one that's going to be here forever is the devil. 
and God. Okay? That's it. The devil's here every day. The evil one that will tell you everything that you want to believe. And will take care of you if you give him the, your your soul. All right? But devil's losing. Still losing. Always going to lose. Goodness always wins. Okay? So, I did. if I'm going against every religion, I, I don't care. I'm just going what I know. I've been there and they ain't told me nothing about Jesus ever coming back. And there are no written words by God in the Bible. They're written by other humans. If God talks to you in your dreams, not your angels, not Jesus, not Mother Mary, if God tells you, my son's coming back to save you next week or next month or 30 years, okay, believe it. If you hear it from everybody else, don't believe it, okay? It ain't happening. Jesus did what he's supposed to do. Mother Mary did what she was supposed to do. Now, you have to do your own responsibility and use what God gave you, an open mind, a brain, common sense, ability to judge or misjudge and make mistakes.